Kibbles here. I'm going to show you guys the basics of how stats work on Darkest Dungeon. When I first came into this game, I was very confused. When you see these abilities and they're like, what does this mean? This guy, this this class, the Crusader, this is a pretty simple one. You get some of the more complicated ones like Plague Doctor and some of these things like this. You're like, what, what does this even mean? So, uh, so I had some people from Reddit come help me on my stream the other day. And I have a pretty good understanding how this works now, so I want to show it to you guys or anyone who's confused about what any of this means. So we'll start with the Crusader, very simple class, because it's a melee class. And we'll start with Smite, it's basic just melee attack. So what these stats mean is for this one, the accuracy, ACC stands for accuracy. The base accuracy is 90. So there's a 90% chance to hit base. And this doesn't take into account any dodge that people have or anything. I'm not sure if that's exactly right, but but base accuracy is 90 and then there's a crit modification so it has an additional 1% to crit which is on top of his 3% to crit so with this right now and this is for smite 2 might be different for you know you level up these skills later on in the game spoiler but yeah and so this with this level of this you get crit mod plus 1 so when he uses this he has a 4% chance to crit and he has 90% accuracy and he, with the level 2 one, he has plus 20% damage versus unholy targets. Then the amount of damage this does is based on his base damage. So for the Crusader, he does 6 to 12 damage with his current weapon, which is the Battered Longsword. Changing the Longsword will increase or decrease, you know, change the damage and change his crit base and speed base and other random stats. But anyway, so say with this, you use 6 to 12 damage. So this one will just do 6 to 12 damage then. Has 90% accuracy crit mod as a plus one percent so four percent chance to crit total six to twelve damage but then also you can see on this one it has damage modification minus fifty percent so instead for this one you cut both these numbers in half instead of six it does a minimum of three instead of twelve it does a maximum of six so it does three to six damage because these are cut in half because it's minus fifty percent damage modification then it has a crit modification plus one so it still has that four percent chance to crit and then stun has a one ten percent base with the current level which say if he was attacking himself he has a 70 percent resistance to stun so you would just subtract 110 uh, 70 from 110 which would give you 40 percent so on, if he was hitting himself he has 70 percent this is 110 it would leave 40 percent so there would be a four in ten chance that it would stun the target uh, the other one also is that's accuracy based 95 so it's 95 percent accuracy and then uh, like for this one this is a self ability where just by base it increases the amount of light in the dungeon the torch by plus 24 and then on yourself it marks yourself which makes enemies want to attack you and could potentially get you in danger with certain enemies because enemies some enemies do bonus things against mark targets and then also it puts a buff on himself which is plus 20 percent protection so let's look at some of the more complicated classes like leper leper is a pretty complicated one with these so if you look at this one revenge uh, it puts on himself a plus 25 percent damage buff a plus seven percent crit buff and increases the amount of damage he takes by 25 percent it adds 10 accuracy but it also takes away 10 dodge which makes it hard less likely for him to dodge an attack and then with this one same kind of thing you put on yourself plus 20 percent protections you get plus 30 percent bleed resist which should be down here go from 10 to 40 then you get plus 30% move resist, makes you less likely to get displaced by attacks that displace you. 30% uh, blight resist, blight resist pretty straightforward, 30% debuff resist, debuff resist, and it puts a mark on him which makes enemies want to attack him and can make enemies do dangerous things to him. Um, we look at the healer maybe. Judgment, it's a ranged attack, it has 85% base accuracy as it stands. It does uh, minus 25% damage, so instead of 4 to 8, you would take 25% off of 4, which would be 1 off, so it'll do 3. 25% off of 8, which takes 2 off of it, so that'll be 6, so it does 3 to 6 damage. Crit mod plus 5%, so it has 3 plus 5, which would make 8. And then self heals 3 HP, so it heals yourself for 3 HP. And just, we'll go through one more real quick. So this one, accuracy base 85, so it has base accuracy of 85, which also could be added on to your accuracy modification base stat. So if you had like plus 15 this, and this is 85, then you'd be at 100. Damage mod minus 50, so instead of doing 4, it does a base of 2. Instead of a 
max of eight, it does a max of four. And then it does crit modification plus one, so it adds one to this, that'll be a 4% chance to crit. And then plus 15% damage versus unholy, that's pretty straightforward. And then to yourself, it adds a debuff, so to speak, of plus, or no, a buff, I think, of plus 25% damage, so we do more damage then, and plus six accuracy above that last, I don't know how many turns, I, I don't think it says, I'm not sure exactly. And then also quirks can affect your stats. This person has deadly, gives them plus 2% crit, so they have one base, plus the two from that quirk, and then that gives them three. This one gives plus two speed, they have a base of four from the weapon, and then gives them another plus two, so they have six, makes them faster, attack faster. And then yeah, that's pretty much it. And then there's camping skills, which everybody has so for this one if if when you're camping you can use this it uses obviously time cost you get 15 time when you rest and each person can use up use up some of that and so this one pretty straightforward one of your other companions you can just remove a straight 15 stress from them uh, this one you heal 15 percent remove a bleed and remove a blight from somebody this one is after the rest then whichever companion you picked will really receive minus like 15 percent less stress from things that give them stress in battle for up for the next four battles after you camp. Uh, same for this one, same kind of thing. You can give one of your companions plus 10 accuracy, a plus 10 dodge for four battles after the camp, the next four battles after the camp. And then you get some of these that are more complicated. So if you use this on a religious target, it takes it makes them re receive 20% less stress for the next four battles. If they're not religious, they receive 10% less stress for the next four battles. And if they're religious, it just immediately takes away 15 stress. If they're not religious, it still takes away 5 stress, but it's not that good. And then some of these other ones, we can look at Leper maybe. So um, so he does 20% HP damage to himself when he uses this. And then there's a 50% chance that it'll remove 20 stress from, a, from all the companions. There's also a 50% chance it'll remove 15 stress from all companions. I think that's one or the other, I'm not 100% sure, I haven't used it yet. And then also this one, self, you can just take away 20 stress from yourself. Uh, and then also on top of that, this adds plus 10 accuracy and plus 8% crit for the next four battles for the leper. And then also, yeah, just some of these, plus 10% stress from everything received, minus 10% stress heal received from things that heal stress, and just yeah, that's pretty much it. And then the other thing to note, and this isn't really stats, but it's positioning, where when you see, I can't mouse over it while holding it up, but there's these dots. Um, there's four dots on the left and four dots on the right above the word Smite 2. And on the top left of Smite 2, where my mouse is kind of leaning towards, that's your character's positions. And then the red ones are the enemy character's positions. So the yellow ones, if he is in the first slot or the second slot, he can use this ability. And this ability can hit from the first or second slot. It can hit the first or second slot of the enemies. Uh, we'll look at like a ranged person, like the Highwayman. So the Highwayman, he like Wicked Slice. He can use it from the first three slots of uh, the party, and it can hit the first two slots of the enemy party. Pistol Shot can't be used from the front, but it can be used from the second, third, and fourth slot of the party, and it can't hit the guy in the front on the enemy side, but he can any of the back three. And then uh, point blank shot can only be used from the front, and it can only hit the other guy who's in the front. Grape shot can only be used from the second and third slots, so the middle two slots on your party side, and it can hit the first three slots and hits all three of them at once for the enemy side. If you see a line connecting the dots, that means it hits multiple targets. So in this one, all three of those dots are connected by lines, all three of the red dots, and that means that this shot will hit all three of the first people the first three people in the enemy lineup. So yeah, that's pretty much it for stats. And yeah, equipment can change stats, trinkets can change stats, uh, the quirks can change stats. When you upgrade these, they get different stats and things. You can put buffs on yourself from when you rest. You can also use different items can give debuffs and buffs and things like that. And then also you can buff each other. So some characters have ways to buff the other characters to change their stats. But for the most part, that is how that works. So the last thing I want to show you is how you can see these stats unfold in an actual battle. So here we have the leper against some basic enemies and say we have chop and it has 75 base accuracy and 
3% crit modification on top of his 4, so he's a 7% chance to crit, and 75 accuracy. So when we mouse over the enemy, it shows what's going to happen down here where the map is. So for this guy, Bone Defender, he has 15 HP, he's unholy. He has 25 protection, 0 dodge, 0 speed. So with this guy, he has a 75% chance to hit. It says hero to hit, 75%. That's 75% chance to hit because his accuracy is 75, which stands for 75%. So there's a 3 and 4 chance he will hit this guy. Then the next thing is to hero to crit. The chance for him to crit is 4% because he has 4% crit from this skill. And also these update when you click. So it kind of updates before you see right there. If I go to this one, this one has minus 4% crit. So when I click this, there's no chance to crit. If I click this, it auto updates down here. It shows 4% chance to crit. What damage is going to do is kind of just to show you, give you help on what's going to happen. But then also hero damage 6 to 12. So this one will do 6 to 12 damage if it hits him. And then also you can see the enemy's resistances. The enemy has 25% stun resist, 10% blight, 200% bleed resist, 15% debuff resist, and 50% move resist, which I can't really show you any with this guy, but if I had a stun, for example, and the stun had 110%, then you would take 25 off of that, and then it would bring the stun down to 85% uh, um, chance to stun, and that's what you would see when you mouse over him here. It would show it in the yellow. It would be one of those things that would say chance to stun or hero stun, whatever the wording is, 85%. Uh, so that's how these stats actually play out in a real battle, what they actually mean. Um, and then also, like I was saying, this one, in the first two slots, I can use this, and it can only hit the first two slots. And you see it shows red lines over the health bars. I can only hit one of these two people. I can't hit the people in the back with this skill. Uh, the Intimidate, I can use on anyone. So I could click this, and now they all become red. I could use this on anyone. And this one has 95 base accuracy. So this guy, 95% chance to hit, 95% chance to hit. This guy, though, has 13 dodge, so that decreases my chance to hit to 83%. And also, I do 2 to 3 damage on those guys, because this does, I don't know, the stats are so, oh, damage modification minus 85%, so it does, instead of my base 7 to 14, you do the math on that, 85% times 7, 85% times 14, which this says 2 to 3 damage. So this will do 2 to 3 damage. So on this guy, it does 1 to 2. This guy does 1 to 2 because they, oh, these guys have protection percent. This guy has 25% protection, so my 2 to 3 can get reduced by 25%, which the game rounds whatever way, it does 1 to 2 damage. This guy has 15% protection, it still brings it down to 1 to 2. This guy has no protections. So I will do the 2 to 3, nothing stopping it from doing 2 to 3. So these guys will take 2 to 3 damage if I use it on them. So that's how stats work in an actual battle. If you were sitting there confused like I was, when I first came in to this game, I was completely overwhelmed when I saw all these numbers below the abilities. I had no idea what it meant, and I was completely lost. Thankfully, Reddit came and helped and came to my stream, twitch.tv slash kibblesbits, and had a field day showing me how all this worked, explaining to me what they do, helping me through this, and it was extremely helpful. So thank you to everybody who gave tips and advice on how these things work. And once you know how all these things work, the game becomes significantly easier, much more simple, and a lot more fun, because you actually know what's going to happen. It's a little bit less random. You can predict what's going to be done. And yes, so thank you to everyone who helped teach me this. And if you appreciate or enjoyed this video and want to see more stuff like this in the future, feel free to subscribe. Check out my twitch.tv channel, which is twitch.tv slash kibblesbits. The link will be in the description below. And thank you guys for watching. And hopefully I will see you around some other time on another video or in the stream or wherever. So thank you for watching.